I'm blown away that this young man is a head coaching candidate in the NFL. Maybe he'll be great in his next chance. Maybe he won't. But I think there's a lot more to being a head coach than being an offensive or a defensive genius. And a lot of people will say, oh, but at one point in time, we were the number five defense in the NFL. Ninth against the run, ninth against the pass, fifth overall. Well, let's go back and look at the first seven games. What were we ranked there? Okay. And then we played against the Sisters of the Poor the second half of the season, you know, and statistically, the team looked extremely good. Okay. So you're going to tell me the organization will look at those, that string of eight or nine games and say that that's worthy of looking at this guy as a head coaching candidate? Head coaches are a different animal. I want to see them. I want to see them talk. I want to hear how they lead. If I were to give IQ test, the most brilliant defensive coordinator I have ever known in my 103 seasons, okay? Who do you think I would name? The most brilliant defensive coordinator. It'd probably be a toss-up between Jim Johnson and, and Bud Carson. Okay. You were right there. You were right there. It would be a toss-up between Jim Johnson and Bud Carson. But I was thinking of Bud Carson and how brilliant he was. Bud Carson was a head coach in Buffalo and a head coach in Cleveland and could never do it. But he was good enough to build the steel curtain defense in Pittsburgh. And he, did it. he had the Eagles defense in 91, first against the run, first against the pass, first overall, greatest defense in Eagles history and the best. But he was not a head coach.